I'm shit. I'm no one, I never have been no one. I'm part of a system. Ten years, ten years in the fucking band that no one told me. When I'm 50, right, I'll be dead, man. Doesn't look like this on Baywatch, America. No. no. Come to the States, they said. In June, it'll be fucking lovely. It's rained every fucking gig we've been at. Bar. Two nights in LA, one night in Santa Barbara, one night in Las Vegas, <coughs> and three nights in New York. Other than that, it's rained every fucking day. How many gigs have you played? This will be the 16th, I think. Is that right, Maggie? 20th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. 21 before we cancelled those. Okay. No one remembers 16. This is the longest tour I've ever done. It's five weeks, right? And I've been doing this. Not, not, not in this band, but I've been touring for like. 15 years now so five weeks is the longest and I think that that probably says it all about how well it's gone because you know five weeks on the road with anybody let alone this fucking shower on this bus. The whole thing's been a real good experience. The New York show, second night at Radio City was a real um, fantastic achievement and a great ambition you know because of the great drummers that have actually worked at that venue. Buddy Rich, Gene Krupp, all these people that I idolise, actually to get to play there in the same place as these guys was just was really something for me. Before this tour, I've never ever played a good gig in New York before. I mean, I you know came in with Ride and with Hurricane and with Oasis last year, and they were all they were all really you gigs you walk off going you just walk off and go in the dressing room and go like this. You know, that was really tough in some way, whether it's that bad audience, well not bad audience, but like a quiet audience or just you played bad or whatever it was, didn't get the, didn't get that feeling you want. But these gigs in New York have been fantastic, all of them, especially the first two. Second night was the very best, that was the best night of the tour, second night in Radio City. <laughs> Sound is a lot more at peace than I've known here. Are you Some more at peace now? I've been worried about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it makes me think I was at war for a while, which I never noticed. But um, I suppose I've got. Yeah. You, I'm 34 now. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You no, know, this is 10 years. It was like seven of those years was the biggest head fuck that anybody could ever imagine. And then a little bit more for me because I was writing the songs and I was. 
the spokesman for that generation of brick poppers or whatever you want to call them. Has this been the most this, fun? This is definitely the most fun. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, obviously because we've we've done the whole world tour, which was like I don't, I don't, I'm not saying it was like pressure or anything or anything, but on like you know, it was like well, it was like a new lineup. Is it going to be any good and all this kind of thing? And also, there was records out to sort of talk about and, and stuff like that, you know. And this is like it's for the music, man, and the kids, you know. Alright man, it's been good, it's been good man, no pressure. It's been great, I've really really enjoyed myself. How have the Oasis boys been? Oh they're a bunch of wankers man. No they're good guys, they're good guys. I carried them a 95, I'm having a good time with them. Hope I carry them again in five years. Sucker! Best of the rest. All the time, man. So here's where we are, right? Yeah. Let's get this fucker out of the way. This is best of the rest. No, we'll have that one. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the first single, right? Yeah. And then we'll have with the Lord singing, right? Yeah. But it is the monster tune. Best of the rest after that song. In October, this comes out, man. It's kind of short, but we, you know, it's kind of... It's, yeah, it just goes like... Uh, uh, switch, switch, switch it off. Switch it out. No, 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 no. It's just a fucking shit, man. No, you've tripped the switch. I'll trip the switch. I'll trip the, I'll trip the switch. I'll trip the bitch. No, no, no. Seven. Seven. You want to hold it up there again? Yeah, and this, like, it's... Dick, man, this don't come nowhere. This don't go nowhere This now. is your film, Liam. This stays until... We have it, yeah? Oh, Ten years, man. I've fucking done all, I've been through loads of fucking shit. I.e. fucking like dickheads camping outside my fucking house. If I learned anything, if I've got no emotions, man, to write a fucking song, that must be a lie. How do you find the time to do all this? You find the time because you want it. It's like, you know, where do football supporters find the time to go and follow their team, you know, two nights a week, yeah. uh, seven months a year? They're passionate about it, and I, I like the music. I fucking, I like, I love music, and I like the people that make it. So, and once you've got some really cool guys who you like making making music that you love, then you'll find it. You'll find it. All the time finds you. Is it gonna be on? Dude? I've wanted to see them live forever, and I fucking love Oasis. Liam, it's the balls. Knows the balls. I'm the biggest fucking American fan, and in my restaurant, and we're gonna be right down in front. It's all we fucking play. Oasis. You, I shouldn't swear this much, huh? <laughs>